Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Guys, I had a great request. That request was to see a Miami Cuban link at an eight millimeter when compared to a 10 millimeter. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be looking at both of these chains at different millimeters. We're gonna be looking at them together. We're gonna to get an in-depth look. We're also gonna get a look from about 12 feet away. If you guys are familiar with this channel, you guys know that I like to give you guys a look at, at these chains from at least 12 feet away so that you guys can get a good idea about how that chain is gonna look on you in real life. Rather than just seeing an up close view of the chain on camera where it's not really gonna help you to make a determination on how it's gonna look on you. So in case you guys don't know, my name is Joe. I am five foot six. I am 143 pounds and I am about 12 feet away from the camera. All right, guys? So let's get into it. But before we do that, I just want to say thank you all for subscribing to this channel, for showing the support that you've been doing. I can't express to you guys how happy I am to know that this channel has been helping you guys in order to make your purchases. That's exactly what I sought to do when I started this channel. And I'm grateful to see with all the wonderful support and comments that you guys have been giving that it's actually doing that, all right? So without further ado, let's get into what we're gonna be doing today. All right, so as you guys might be able to notice, I have here in rose gold color, a Miami Cuban, and it is at 10 millimeters in width, okay? And I also have an eight millimeter Miami Cuban here on this hand. Let's get an up close personal view so you guys can check out what these two millimeter chains look like nice and personal all right this here is the 10 millimeter and this here is the 8 millimeter as you guys can probably tell there is a huge difference okay Let's look at it on the wrist to give you guys a good idea check that out Huge difference. Now the subscriber reached out to me and said, I'd like to see both of those lengths, well, both of those widths around your neck at the same time. So I'm gonna be spacing these out on my neck and I'm gonna give you guys an up close and personal as well as far away view as to what these look like. And the reason why I believe this subscriber asked was because when you want a nice presence around the neck, you know for a fact that a 10 millimeter is gonna do that. It's gonna do that. Whether you're a big guy or a small guy, big girl, little girl, it's gonna give you a really good presence. It's a pretty thick width, okay? Um, in many people's opinion. And in my opinion, it is, which is actually why I don't rock a 10 millimeter often. It, it's too much of a presence for me for an everyday wear. But an eight millimeter now, it is much smaller. It is much smaller, but it might just be enough. It still gives you a decent presence. It's gonna save you a ton of money. And it may actually be what you want in order to give you the look that you desire while saving some money, while saving a little bit of weight around your neck because it is a, a lot lighter, the eight millimeter, right? It's gonna be a lot lighter than 10 millimeter and so on. So let's get into it, guys. Let's take a look at these two chains around the neck. We'll look at the 10 millimeter first, just to get an idea of what that looks like. Check this out. 10 millimeter rose gold around the neck, okay? This is at a 20 inch length, in case anybody was wondering. And this is from 12 feet away, okay guys? So this is what you're gonna look like, rocking the 10 millimeter Cuban length, Miami Cuban around your neck from 12 feet away. This is what everybody is gonna see, okay? Now, as you guys know, I've mentioned in the past, different manufacturers manufacture their chains just a little bit differently. But for a majority, this is what you're gonna get. This is the neck presence you got. Let's look at it from inside the shirt because if you're like me, if you got a thicker width chain, you're gonna to wanna to rock that on the inside of your shirt so you just have a nice, presence around the neck to look at. Nice, classy, little presence, nothing too crazy, just enough. 
to make people aware. Okay. From 12 feet away. Hopefully this gives you guys a good look. All right, let's take a look at that eight millimeter. This currently is at an 18 inch length. Eight millimeter, okay. Give you guys a little bit of a view from the side. Okay, this is an eight millimeter at 18 inches from 12 feet away, all right guys? So this is what you're gonna look like rocking the eight millimeter from 12 feet away. Again, different manufacturers, slightly different looks, different polish types, keep these things in mind. But the presence itself is gonna be an eight millimeter Miami Cuban link, okay? From far away, all right? Get the side neck view. Okay. Let's throw this thing in the shirt. All right, side neck profile. Okay. Behind the neck. Inside the shirt. As you can see, there's a, a huge difference between the eight millimeter from 12 feet away and close up when you're talking about it resting inside your shirt. So personally, if I was gonna rock a chain, one of these chains on the outside of my shirt, I would go with the eight millimeter, personally, because I don't like to be too showy. But if I was gonna rock a chain, one of these chains on the inside of my shirt, I would choose a 10, because the neck presence is good, but it's just not as good as what a 10 is and you have it on the inside of your shirt. So since it's on the inside of your shirt, you already have less of a presence because you're not seeing half your chain, right? So personally, I would rock the 10 on the inside of the shirt and the eight on the outside, but this is just personal preference. And here you have it. You got the eight millimeter on top and you got the 10 millimeter on the bottom. It's got a nice close up view. Let's take a look from 12 feet away. Give you guys a good idea. Hope this helps. I know when I was looking at a 10 millimeter Miami Cuban, I was wondering, should I go with the eight? Should I go with the 10? What's gonna be better? Honestly, guys, if I had a channel like this, giving me a good comparison from far away, personally, I would have went with the eight. I would have went with the eight. I ended up thinking that I wanted to go with the 10, but the 10 actually ended up being too big. So keep in mind, you know, it depends on your own taste, your own personal style. Some people can rock the 10, some people want to rock the 10, some people don't. Some people want a little bit more of a relaxed kind of a presence. So that's it guys, I hope this video helped. I look forward to catching you guys soon. I want to let you guys know that I really do appreciate the support that you guys lend to the channel. And I'm glad to know that this channel is doing what it was intended to do. Okay, guys, look forward to talking to you soon. And I uh, have some great content coming up for you guys. Take care.